So guys, for the first step, you wanna go to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the next step, there's gonna be three links down below in the description for Nvidia, AMD, and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I got the Nvidia app. And now once you're on our software, you wanna to go to the driver tab. Now you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. For the next step, you want to go to the link which will be down below in the description to download Microsoft Visual C++. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. There's going to be two downloads right here, one for x86 and one for x64. You want to download both of them, so click on both of them. And then once that's been downloaded, you want to right click on one of them and then click on show in folder. We should now be in our downloads folder with both of these downloads. We're going to install both of them. So for the first one, I'm just going to double click on it. Once this comes up, you want to tick the box, I agree, and then click on install. And then click on yes. It's now going to start installing. Now once that's been installed, you want to click on close. Now for the next one, double click on it. You want to tick the box, I agree, and then click on install. And then click on yes. It's now going to start installing. Once that's been done, you want to click on close. For the next step, you want to go to the next link, which will be down below in the description, to download DirectX and use a runtime web installer. Now once we're here, you want to scroll down, choose your language, and then click on download. You want to click on the installer, and then click on yes. And now this will come up. Now once we're here, you want to click on I accept, and then click on next. We can untick this box, and then click on next. Wait for this to load, and then click on next again. It's now going to start downloading components. Wait for this to load. It's now going to start installing components. Wait for this to load. And now once that's been installed, you want to click on finish. Now for the last step, you want to restart your computer. And this should not fix your problem.